Okay, to get started, I just opened up this music track in addition, and I'd like to lower its volume. Now, if you look towards the middle of your track, you'll see this little box that's called the HUD. To lower the volume, just drag the 0 dB to the left, or to increase the volume, drag it to the right. I want to decrease mine though, so I'll drag it to the left. I'm going to undo this though, so I can show you how to decrease volume from only part of the track. To do this, just drag to select the part of the audio you'd like to lower the volume on and the HUD will automatically move to that location. Then just drag the zero to the left to decrease the volume of only that part. Okay, that worked great, but let's say you're working with a multi-track project. The simplest way to lower the volume on an entire track is to first make sure your track is selected and then drag this yellow line down. Okay, I'm going to undo that though, so I can show you guys how to fade your volume down when your voice comes in. To do this, just click where on the yellow line you want to start fading down your background audio to create a keyframe point. Then click a little further down on the yellow line to where you want to have your music finished fading down by. Drag the second point down to create a ramp that'll gradually fade down your volume. Hey guys. Okay, this worked, but if you want to change the speed of your fade, you could just drag one of these points closer or further from the other one. I'll drag mine closer so I can speed up the fade out. You could also continue creating points on the yellow line if you want to continue adjusting the volume over time. If you don't need all these points like this, an even easier way to fade your audio over your voice is by using ducking, so I'll just undo these points. For this, first make sure your background music track is selected, and set it to music in the essential sound panel. In here, check the ducking checkbox to enable it, and set it to duck against unassigned audio types unless you already signed your top track to dialogue or something else. Okay, right away, you can see it automatically created this ramp that ducks my audio when I start talking. Hey guys, my first tip is for the first Back over in Essential Sound, you can adjust how it ducks your audio. For example, I could change how quick it fades out my music. While the duck amount basically controls the volume of your background track while it's faded out. I usually leave the sensitivity alone because addition already does a good job of recognizing when my voice comes in. Hey guys, but yeah, that sounds good, so that's it for this tutorial. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.